Right now, inside a secretive hangar in California, the United States is quietly building something that could change warfare forever. Nearly 40 ghost-like bombers are taking shape in the shadows, stealth aircraft designed to be virtually invisible to enemy radar. Neither China nor Russia has an answer for this kind of warplane because they simply won't see it coming. These bombers move like phantoms, meant to slip through even the most advanced defenses without a trace. They represent the next generation of American air power. This aircraft, officially known as the B-21 Raider, is so advanced that it has military observers around the world on edge. It is the first brand new American bomber of the 21st century, and it aims to outclass everything that came before it in both stealth and versatility. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. Each of these B-21 Raider bombers carries a staggering price tag of roughly $700 million, reflecting the advanced technology packed into every inch of its design. The U.S. Air Force has already committed over $10 billion in a bold effort to build and deploy this fleet of invisible destroyers. But this is far more than just another weapons program. It is a strategic statement to the world. Beyond the impressive hardware, it marks a preparation for a new kind of warfare, one in which victory belongs to those who dominate the invisible realm of stealth. The sheer scale and ambition of the project send a clear message of American resolve that will echo through every hostile capital. And there's one strategic twist to the B-21 program that remains under wraps. We will reveal that hidden element later on in this video, and it might just change how you think about the future of warfare. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. For fiscal year 2026, the Pentagon has earmarked a staggering $10.3 billion specifically for the B-21 Raider program. This nearly doubles the previous year's funding of about $5.8 billion. But this surge in investment isn't just money being tossed at the project. Each dollar is assigned to a specific purpose. The funding is carefully allocated to cover everything from advancing the bomber's development and testing, to accelerating production and upgrading manufacturing facilities, to expanding the supply chain and training the crews who will operate and maintain these aircraft. Every aspect of the program is being bolstered to ensure the Raider enters service as quickly and smoothly as possible, with maximum combat capability from day one. Meanwhile, the primary contractor, Northrop Grumman, has been revolutionizing how these bombers get built. At its Plant 42 facility in Palmdale, California, the company has invested over $2 billion in cutting-edge digital infrastructure. Engineers are using digital twin technology, virtual replicas of the B-21, that allow them to simulate and troubleshoot the bomber's systems in a computer environment before assembling the real thing. In essence, Northrop Grumman is building the bomber digitally first, catching potential problems and refining the design virtually. As a result, this approach has already cut the time needed to certify the aircraft's complex software by roughly 50%, a remarkable improvement over traditional methods. The payoff is clear. Nearly 40 B-21 Raiders are already in various stages of construction, even though the jet was only unveiled to the public at the end of 2022. This rapid pace is almost unheard of for a program of such complexity. To put it in perspective, roughly 40 bombers is nearly twice the size of the entire B-2 Spirit stealth bomber fleet that the United States built in the past, and these Raiders currently being assembled are just the initial batch. The Air Force expects at least two of them to be flight-ready for testing by 2026. Remarkably, even those test aircraft are being built to full operational standards on the main production line. In other words, the prototypes can be quickly converted into fully combat-ready bombers if the need arises. For years, the Air Force planned to buy about 100 B-21 Raiders. Now, leaders like General Anthony Cotton, the commander of U.S. Strategic Command, say that won't be enough. In testimony to Congress, General Cotton explained that the 100 bomber target was set in a different era, and today's threat environment is far more dangerous. In plain language, American strategists have concluded that 100 stealth bombers just won't cut it anymore. So here's the bombshell revelation. They are now pushing for a fleet of roughly 145 Raiders. That's a staggering 45% increase in bomber count driven by a simple reality. The world has become a much more perilous place, and the United States needs additional firepower to match the growing threats. Today, the United States bomber force consists of only a few dozen B-1 Lancers, just 19 B-2 Spirit stealth bombers, and roughly 76 B-52 Stratofortresses. Most of these aircraft are decades old. The newest B-2 rolled off the assembly line in 1997, and this limited fleet was put to the test in a recent operation, in a secret mission codenamed Operation Midnight Hammer. 
summer, the Air Force struck Iran's nuclear sites and had to deploy nearly its entire stealth bomber fleet. Seven B-2 Spirits carried out the strikes, while others flew diversion routes over the Pacific to confuse enemy defenses. By the end of that night, almost every operational stealth bomber America had was either in action or on alert for that single mission. It was a stark demonstration of just how thin our stealth bomber margins are with the current force. Major General Jason Armagost has noted that what excites him most about the Raider isn't its advanced technology, but the fact that it will be built in large numbers. He calls it the ability to create a true campaign force of stealth bombers. In practical terms, that means having enough aircraft not just for a single strike, but for sustained operations over time. With a fleet of 145 Raiders, the United States could maintain a continuous bomber presence in multiple hotspots at once, for example, in both the Pacific and Europe simultaneously, while still keeping some jets in reserve for unexpected crises. That level of capability would be unprecedented and would fundamentally change how America can project power and deter adversaries. The B-21 Raider is not just an upgraded bomber, it represents a fundamental leap in capability that puts the United States years ahead of any rival. This aircraft's stealth features surpass even those of the legendary B-2 Spirit. From its sleek flying wing shape to its special radar-absorbing coatings, every aspect of the Raider has been engineered for near-total invisibility to enemy sensors. Defense experts are already calling it the most survivable bomber ever built, capable of slipping undetected through the toughest air defense networks in existence. As a point of comparison, America's adversaries, like China and Russia, are still struggling to field their own next-generation stealth bombers, which means the Raider will stand in a class by itself for years to come. And stealth is only the beginning. The B-21 is designed as a multi-mission platform that can do far more than just drop bombs on targets. It will act as an intelligence gatherer and reconnaissance platform, snooping on enemy communications and movements as it cruises high above hostile territory. It can also serve as a battle manager, essentially a flying command center, coordinating other aircraft, drones, or even naval forces in a complex operation. On top of that, the Raider carries sophisticated electronic warfare systems, which means it can jam enemy radars and disrupt communications, effectively blinding an adversary's defenses before they even realize a bomber is there. Perhaps one of the Raider's most important design features is its open systems architecture. The bomber is built to be easily upgraded. New software, sensors, or even new weapons can be integrated as technology advances. Unlike older bombers that require lengthy and costly overhauls for major improvements, the B-21 can swiftly adopt innovations through modular updates. For example, if a breakthrough sensor or a powerful new defensive system is developed a decade from now, it could be incorporated into the Raider with minimal modification. This open architecture approach ensures the bomber will remain at the cutting edge throughout its decades of service, constantly evolving to meet emerging threats instead of becoming obsolete. Another game-changing aspect of the Raider is its sheer global reach. While the exact range is classified, Air Force officials suggest this bomber can strike targets anywhere on Earth from U.S. soil. Thanks to its efficient design and the ability to refuel in mid-air, the B-21 can undertake very long missions to hit distant targets. This eliminates the need for overseas bases to reach far-off battlefields. Equally impressive is the Raider's weapons flexibility. It is built to carry a wide array of munitions, from precision-guided conventional bombs to the upcoming long-range standoff nuclear cruise missile. In short, the B-21 can deliver anything from a pinpoint conventional strike to a strategic nuclear strike. That dual capability makes it a cornerstone of both conventional military strategy and America's nuclear deterrent. Northrop Grumman has reinvented how a bomber is built for the B-21 program. The company took lessons from the B-2 Spirit and overhauled its production process to make the Raiders' manufacturing faster and more efficient. Central to this effort is advanced digital engineering. Before any physical part is made, engineers create a virtual model of the aircraft, a digital twin of the Raider. They run simulations on this digital bomber to find and fix potential issues well before assembly begins on the factory floor. On the production line, technicians wear augmented reality headsets that overlay 3D blueprints onto the real parts, ensuring every piece goes exactly where it should. At the same time, artificial intelligence programs track the assembly progress and manage the flow of materials, making sure production stays on schedule. This high-tech approach does more than just speed up production. It also raises the quality of each bomber coming off the line. Every B-21 undergoes rigorous testing at multiple stages of its build. Critical systems are first validated in digital simulations and software labs, then tested again in real life once installed on the aircraft. Technicians perform detailed inspections and diagnostics throughout the assembly 
assembly process, catching any defects or misalignments early. By the time a Raider is fully assembled and ready for its first flight, it has been put through a gauntlet of quality checks. The result is a bomber that meets and often exceeds its design specifications from day one, reducing the need for rework or fixes after delivery. Building a high-tech aircraft like the Raider isn't just the work of one company. The B-21 supply chain spans hundreds of American firms across many states, making it a nationwide industrial effort. Major defense contractors like Pratt & Whitney, BAE Systems, and Spirit Aero Systems provide the engines, advanced electronics, and major airframe sections of the bomber. Meanwhile, countless smaller suppliers produce everything from specialized fasteners to cutting-edge circuit boards. This distributed production approach spreads economic benefits across the country, creating thousands of skilled jobs and spurring innovation in multiple regions. It also reduces risk. With so many contributors, no single bottleneck can derail the program. In the end, the B-21's production is strengthening not only America's defense capabilities, but, but also its broader manufacturing base. Even with the massive scope of the program, the B-21 project has managed to keep costs in check. In fact, as Northrop Grumman and the Air Force have refined the production process, the cost per bomber is trending lower than initial estimates. The first several batches of Raiders have benefited from efficiency gains and the learning curve of production. Officials report that by the time they reach the fifth production lot, the unit cost will have dropped by about 28% compared to the first lot. That kind of reduction is almost unheard of for a cutting-edge military aircraft. In in practical terms, it means several billion dollars saved overall, funds that can be redirected to buy more bombers or invested in other defense priorities. Meanwhile, the pace of production is picking up. As the manufacturing line moves toward full rate output, it's expected to eventually roll out around 10 new Raiders per year. Some defense analysts are already arguing that even this pace isn't enough, suggesting the Air Force should aim to double the production rate to 20 bombers per year to meet growing strategic demands. Whether or not it speeds up that much, the Raider program's ability to contain costs and efficiently build these aircraft stands out as a major success story, one that could serve as a model for future defense projects. America is fielding the B-21 Raider at a moment when global threats are arguably the most severe since the height of the Cold War. China is rapidly expanding its military might with cutting-edge fighter jets, missiles, and dense air defense systems specifically designed to keep U.S. forces at a distance in the Western Pacific. Russia, for its part, is modernizing its strategic arsenal and has shown a willingness to use force near NATO's borders. At the same time, regional adversaries like Iran and North Korea are advancing their missile programs and other disruptive weapons. In this tense environment, the Raider becomes a vital ace up America's sleeve. Its extreme stealth and global reach mean that no adversary can ever be confident that any of their assets are safe from U.S. air power. A hostile nation might surround a key command bunker or missile site with layers of surface-to-air missiles, but a B-21 flying unseen can still slip through and deliver a strike. This forces potential aggressors to think twice about their actions. The knowledge that the United States can pinpoint and destroy high-value targets even in the heart of a well-defended homeland, serves as a powerful form of deterrence. It reinforces the idea that no aggressor could shield itself from American retaliation, thus discouraging them from initiating conflict in the first place. The Raiders' conventional strike capabilities will be crucial in any major conflict. Against a well-armed foe, the ability to surgically eliminate high-value targets deep in enemy territory can tip the balance. A B-21 can take out critical assets like enemy air defense systems, mobile missile launchers, or hardened command bunkers, targets that could pose grave threats if left intact. By knocking out these hard targets early in a war, the Raider clears the way for other U.S. and Allied forces to operate with much less resistance. This capability also greatly strengthens coalition warfare. American B-21s flying alongside Allied aircraft can tackle the most heavily defended objectives, missions that other nations' jets cannot handle on their own. That asymmetric edge gives U.S.-led alliances a significant advantage and reassures allies that the United States will stand by them in any crisis. The psychological impact of having a fleet of stealth bombers at the ready is also enormous. Knowing that America has dozens upon dozens of essentially invisible bombers on call forces potential adversaries to live in constant uncertainty. They would have to pour resources into spreading out and hiding their critical assets, never sure if or when a raider might show up overhead. In effect, they must try to defend everywhere, while the U.S. can choose the time and place of its strike. This dynamic shifts the strategic initiative to America and keeps opposing forces off balance. Beyond its conventional role, 
The B-21 will also serve as a key pillar of America's nuclear deterrent. It will join the U.S. strategic triad of land, sea, and air-based nuclear forces as a stealthy airborne platform. The B-21 is designed to carry nuclear weapons, including the forthcoming long-range standoff cruise missile, giving the U.S. a Hiksui, a flexible way to deliver a nuclear strike if needed. Because the Raider can slip past even the most advanced defenses, no adversary could be confident of stopping a nuclear response delivered by American bombers. This greatly enhances the credibility of the U.S. deterrent. Potential foes understand that they cannot shield themselves from an American retaliatory strike launched from a stealth aircraft. The B-21 is expected to shoulder this deterrence mission into the 2070s and beyond, ensuring the United States maintains a reliable nuclear safeguard well into the future. That enduring strength allows American diplomats to engage rivals from a position of confidence, knowing a powerful strategic backstop is in place behind every promise of security. The B-21 program is not only a military endeavor, but also a massive boost to the American economy and workforce. The billions of dollars being poured into this bomber are flowing to factories and research facilities across the nation, creating thousands of high-paying jobs in the process. In Palmdale, California, where Northrop Grumman builds the Raider, new workers are being trained in cutting-edge digital manufacturing techniques and advanced materials science. These technicians and engineers are gaining skills that not only support the B-21 itself, but also strengthen the broader U.S. technology base. The extensive networks of suppliers supporting the Raider spans dozens of states. Major aerospace firms and tiny machine shops alike are part of the supply chain. Small and medium-sized businesses that make specialized components for the B-21 are expanding and innovating to meet the Air Force's demands. In many cases, they are acquiring new technical capabilities that they can later apply to civilian markets, from commercial aviation to electronics. All of this industrial activity keeps critical know-how within U.S. borders and reduces America's reliance on foreign sources for advanced aerospace technology. The technological innovations driven by the B-21 program will likely pay dividends far beyond the military. Research into stealth materials, advanced sensors, artificial intelligence, and state-of-the-art manufacturing techniques for the Raider is yielding knowledge that can spin off into the civilian sector. Breakthroughs made for the bomber could influence commercial aviation design, improve industrial robotics, and lead to more efficient production methods in other fields. There is also an international dimension. While the B-21 itself won't be exported, some of its subsystems and underlying technologies can be shared with close U.S. allies. These partnerships not only strengthen allied defense capabilities, but also generate business for American industry through foreign military sales of related technology. Finally, the economic benefits of the Raider will extend for decades through maintenance and upgrades. Once these bombers are in service, keeping them flying will be a massive enterprise of its own, one that requires teams of technicians, software engineers, logisticians, and a steady supply of parts. All that sustainment activity means continued employment and innovation on the home front. In essence, the B-21 will remain both a military asset and an economic engine for a generation or more, providing high-tech jobs and driving progress long after the initial assembly is done. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot.